the West Fertilizer Company was a fertilizer retail and distribution facility in West Texas, 80 miles south of Dallas. There, ammonium nitrate and other chemicals used as fertilizers were stored in a 12,000 square foot building that was constructed of combustible material, mostly wood. The fertilizer storage building was located close to several houses, an apartment complex, two schools, a city park, and a nursing home. Inside the fertilizer building, seeds and other materials were stored in rooms throughout the structure. Various types of dried fertilizer and additives for blending were stored in large bins. There was a stockpile of 40 to 60 tons of ammonium nitrate stored between two bins on the night of the incident. The main bin contained about 30 tons. Fertilizer-grade ammonium nitrate is stable under normal conditions, but can violently detonate when exposed to contaminants in a fire. Sometime before 7.30 p.m. on April 17, 2013, a fire started in the fertilizer building. Although there were numerous combustible products inside, the CSB was unable to determine the source of ignition or exactly where in the building the fire began. One of the first responders to the incident was a police officer from the city of West who was on routine patrol near the city park. A young man approached him and pointed to the fertilizer plant. The police officer drove to the north end of the plant and observed orange-red flames coming from the building. He notified dispatch that the fire was structural. The West Volunteer Fire Department soon arrived on the scene with two engines, two brush trucks, and a water tender truck. But inside the building, the fire continued to quickly escalate. Smoke and soot from the fire accumulated on the piles of ammonium nitrate stored in their combustible wooden bins. At approximately 7.45 p.m., the character of the fire changed, most likely due to an opening low in the building, possibly when the fire burned through doors to what was known as the seed room. More outside oxygen rushed in, increasing the amount of radiant heat inside the fertilizer building. The heat was absorbed by the layer of soot on top of the pile of ammonium nitrate, rapidly heating the surface of the fertilizer and making it sensitive to detonation. Outside, the West Volunteer Fire Department sought to extinguish the flames with water. One and a half inch hoses directed water through sliding doors to the seed room. Other firefighters were in the process of connecting a four inch hose to a fire hydrant that was more than a quarter mile away. As the fire grew, the fire chief and assistant fire chief began to discuss whether to withdraw, but it was too late. At 7.51 p.m., 20 minutes after the fire was first reported, approximately 30 tons of the stored ammonium nitrate detonated, causing a massive explosion. <laughs> 